Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. In this video, I'd like to focus only on the lower level price action. Last video, I did cover everything. So we go back to just lower level because it always takes a bit of time and uh, it's always repetition. Now, yesterday we talked about um, one more low could be coming here, but we're really, really sort of towards the end of, I think, this imminent sell off where we should see at some point here. And even if we come down to maybe 23 before we go up, but anywhere in here we should see some sort of a bounce at least to move up in a wave two also to provide some clarity about where we are because let's be honest all these altcoins are currently just selling off while bitcoin and ethereum are just moving sideways the altcoins continue to sell off not good it's not only ada actually ada is holding quite well compared to many other altcoins but to be honest also ada is now uh, getting below the 88.7 percent fib level which was at 29 cents which is not great um, but it has only recently dropped below it there's only a few coins that are still above that level many coins have dropped below it um, and ada is now pretty much oversold on various time frames i mean the one hour has already recovered a bit but the four hour oversold here the daily is oversold still and we're just hovering here in the bearish range of the rsi as i said before um as long as we stay here sort of mainly below 50 it's sort of the bearish range and we're not going to get back into a bull run so a break above the 50 level would be an indication that things are changing but we're quite far away from that but um yeah i mean we don't the fact is as well we don't really see any signal yet that the move down is finished it is sort of slowing down that's why we've got this sort of descending wedge pattern but still we just keep dropping and it, it's not really a sign of slowing down there's a little bit of a reduction in the negative momentum you can just see that by looking at the price compared to that drop yeah here we've got a bit more consolidation up and down a um, few more buyers have stepped in but nothing major so yeah i think we, we need to be on the lookout at some point here for the wave two to the upside because the pattern down is full but it could still extend a bit further yeah but whenever you have a full pattern as you can see we've got five waves down this can always extend out a bit but that is when you need to wait or watch out for a possible retracement to the upside it has now moved out of this wedge to the upside is that a signal that we could be heading into wave two yes but it's not reliable because you haven't really seen any strong movement what we've seen so far only if you take a look at that we've just made Yes, of course, you know, higher highs, uh, higher lows, but also lower highs. So we're heading again in a triangle. This just explains uncertainty and is just another sign of just consolidation, possible trend continuation to the downside. Yes, we broke out of the wedge to the upside, but not with volume, nothing exciting here. And I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about if this, there's two options here for me. Um, we talked yesterday about this small within the, the orange wave five, which is also why I said one more low could be coming here in this white wave five. Um, it could be that this wave four is just a triangle and we break down, yeah, so that nothing's changing and on, only move the wave four to the side a little bit. So we've had here, let me show you something like an A, B, C, D, E, and we would break down here imminently. Uh, bear in mind we've got this small triangle um the other option is that's a bit more of a complex pattern but also possible that we say hmm, wave five has never started yeah and we are still in the wave four but it is a bit of a messy pattern but possible um just due to the size of this whole yeah retracement or consolidation because you could say all of this is a five is a triangle the whole thing and orange wave four was never finished. So that we say, this was an A wave of a triangle, this here, a B wave. Then we had here, three wave move is, let me think. This could be the C wave, then we had a D wave here, and now an E wave, yeah. I think we could, could have some discussions if the C wave would sit here, but that's another possibility but both point to the downside okay i'd rather be looking at the first option here now but um this is only valid as long as we stay below 25.4 cents 
Yeah. But eventually I would still look at lower unless we now see a rally. Unless we now see a rally with volume, then it could really be that we're already in the wave two. But it would only be a corrective wave. Could take us, however, into the region between 28 and 31 cents. So be ready for that at any point here. Um, it's nothing to be honest that I would trade though, because even if we if we start from here straight away, this is not a reliable pattern to build it on. This small sideways consolidation there. So, yeah, uh, you know, I want to wait for, I want to wait for a clear impulse here to the upside, to be more confident that the bear market low is in already. I don't think we've seen it yet. Also, we don't really have a lot of volatility here on the ADA chart at the moment. That would be uh, at least not to the upside. Um, down, you know, the wave three down would be possibly an interesting short. If we get there, yeah, if we get into the wave two target area, see the beginning of the wave three, it might be a short option. Um, but other than that, yeah, we just need to, we just need to see if we now break out of this triangle to the upside or downside. Downside would be um, what I showed you, yeah, that I think there should still be one more low. But again, you know, we've come down, we followed the path here into that 25 cent region. That was always the target, 24, 25 for this move down here. And now at some point we expect a recovery. So if we really get, you know, another cent down or not, you know, this is to a degree intraday volatility as well. And uh, so far we fulfilled this count here further to the downside. Fact is we don't really see any strong, nothing remotely bullish here. Okay. so. Overall, the trend is still down and also that that would not be changed even by going into this area. This is actually part of the plan. This is part of the larger roadmap still to the downside. So this is the count I'd go with. I would say this is probably the white wave four and we ideally I'd like to see one more low. This would be confirmed by a breakdown below the 25 cent level, 20, 24.9 cents. Um, if we now go above 25.5, it would be a first indication that we're already in the wave two. Okay, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. And also if you're interested in earning passive ADA with your ADA, maybe consider delegating your ADA to the MCO stake pool. You can find links about that in the video description. Very excited because we've now paid out our first rewards which is amazing. So it all works. Very happy. And um, yeah, hope you like the update and see you in the next video. Bye bye.